What's up guys, it's uh, Semi-I here and today we are taking a look at Kingdra. So um, this is one of the cards that we sh we uh, looked at in like the very first video for the Neo era. Um, it's a pretty good card. It's actually a free card I believe in some theme decks maybe. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing a Kingdra in a theme deck somewhere. But in any case, um, it's a pretty good card because of genetic memory. So. He's a 90 HP stage 2 with 2 retreat, which kind of sucks, but no weakness, which is very good. No resistance, which is alright, you know, but genetic memory is really where the card's strength comes from. Because it gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of how many energy you need to start attacking with. So, use any attack from Kingdra's basic or evolution card, and Kingdra doesn't have to pay for that energy's attack cost. So, there is one, one attack in particular with the Seedra that we are going to be looking at. So... Mud Splash is going to be your go-to genetic memory target. It says if your opponent has any bench Pokemon, choose one of them and flip a coin. If it's heads, the attack does 30 damage to that Pokemon, and you do 30 base to the active. So 30 to the active plus a 10 damage snipe is uh, pretty good, you know, for one energy no less. That's really good. So um, genetic memory getting Mud Splash is really great. It allows you to basically chain attacks without slowing down. Like when your attacker goes down... Usually attacks in this meta cost three energy. So, you know, to recover your attacker, you're basically going to be clefaing in the middle there. But in this case, you can chain attacks. And so you don't have to worry about using cleffa to get your hand back to set up again. There are a couple of other relevant attacks, though. Bubble. If you flip a coin, if has a frame Pokemon is not paralyzed for 10, this is a stalled attack. You know, if you need to stall instead of doing damage, bubble is your go-to attack. Uh, the original Horsey technically has an attack fin slap, but it's really not that great. You flip a coin, so if an if an attack damage Horsey during your opponent's last turn, sack does 20 more damage plus 10 more damage. If not, sack does uh, 20 damage. So I'm not sure. I don't know if fin slap actually activates if it was Kingdra that was attacked. I'm pretty sure that's the case, and so fin slap should probably just do 20, which means that it's really not worth it, right? But, uh, I mean, why would you ever want to do Fin Slap when Genetic Memory is always going to be the better target? And you're always going to, you could, I'm sorry, Mud Splash is going to be the better target. And you're always going to have access to Mud Splash. So, Mud Splash and Bubble are really your go-to Genetic Memory targets. But then going back to Kingdra, the second attack is actually a pretty good attack. So, flip two coins for each heads, choose one of the energy cards attached to your opponent's Pokemon, and then you discard it. So if you have double heads, you discard two of their energy, which should really set them back hard. Most people obviously don't attach more energy than necessary for attacks. And a lot of attacks um, are pretty expensive. You know, three to four is what we're talking about for most attacks in the meta. So to take out two attacks potentially 25% of the time is, uh, it, I'm sorry, to take out two energy 25% 25 of the time is pretty crazy. Uh, they can't attack after that unless they have another attack that uses less energy cost. So it's really nuts, uh, Twister's power. Plus he has, does a base 50. So that essentially two shots, 100 HP Pokemon, while you're denying them the energy. I mean, Twister's really good. The only downside is it's four energy requirement. And there's really no good way to speed this up. You're literally going to just have to attach it one at a time. So there's no Blaine card to help accelerate energy. You know, this is just one of those things that you're stuck with just attaching energy manually. So um, again, though... Genetic memory is always the other option. If a Kingdra goes down and you don't have a Twister set up, genetic memory still at least allows you to attack. So, a uh, pretty good card in general. But let's see what the rest of the deck looks like. So, uh, I guess one thing to mention about Kingdra is notice that there's no abilities involved. It's just basically attacking and denying energy. But a lot of decks in the meta are ability focused. You know, the top, the tier 1 decks in the meta all, are, all rely on abilities, basically. So the best pairing that I could come up with for Kingdra is to pair him with Muck. So Muck, the Gen 1 card from Fossil, uh, is allowed in this format because of the Legendary Collection being part of uh, Rocket On. And uh, he was reprinted in the Legend Legendary Collection. His ability is pretty powerful. Toxic Gas, ignore all Pokemon powers other than Toxic Gas, and his power stops working while Muck is statused. So... This shuts off so many decks. It's crazy how many decks it shuts off. All of Tier 1 decks, tons of Tier 2 decks. I mean, so many Pokemon rely on abilities. Its abilities is, is like 
in this case, powers, I guess, is just one of the fundamental aspects of the meta. And when you shut them all off, it's nuts how powerful uh, this deck can become. It gives you auto win conditions, really. Like against uh, Gengar, right? Their max damage output then becomes 30. Um, and while they put you to sleep, you wake up 50% of the time. So, you know, that's fine. We also even run full heal energy to deal with that. So that deals with, you know, Toxic Gas deals with that. Uh, for Alligator, can't recover um, or can't discard energy from their hand. So I guess technically for Alligator can still attack, but it's, you know. And then uh, Typhlosion obviously gets completely shut down. Plus we're playing Water, so that should help out as well. But yeah. In general, this is probably the best pairing I could come up with for, for Kingdra, simply because Kingdra is a very simple Pokemon, right? You're either doing damage or you're denying energy while, while doing damage. It's essentially just a damage deck. There's no bells or whistles with, ener with abilities or whatever, so uh, it gives Muck a good chance to be partnered with someone that can utilize his benefit. Uh, the two, two line of Grammar Muck is basically just for, ener for abilities. If you, uh, play a, if you play against a deck that has no abilities, you just don't get him in play. I mean, the downside of, of having him in play, though, is a two retreat cost. Um, that's pretty steep when you're trying to double gust the, the opponent's attackers to the active to twister them. So uh, this with two retreat, it becomes very important. We don't have enough space to run Balloon Berry, but we do have enough space to run a couple of Recycle Energy. So Recycle Energy helps to mitigate the retreat cost. Essentially, when you discard this energy from play, it goes right back into your hand. So once you draw into it and you play it, you really can't, uh, you just you just don't lose it, right? So normally what you can do is attach a recycle onto a muck, and then he sets him up for a retreat. And even if you retreat, you're not actually discarding two waters. You're just getting the recycle back in your hand. So you end up only losing one energy that way. Recycle is also good when the Kingdra goes down because genetic memory is colorless, right? And so... If a Kingdra goes down and you had to recycle on him, you you are guaranteed energy for genetic memory next turn. So Recycle is a really good addition for this kind of deck. Uh, it helps to retreat and also helps to do genetic memory. So a very good card for this deck. Our uh, Kingdra line is a 4-4-3 line. And we have 4 Cleffa. So if you don't know what Cleffa does, he is the definitive card of Gen 2. The whole format revolves around him. It's essentially a draw support in the form of a Pokemon. And because he's a baby, there's a rule here that says that you have to flip a coin to attack him. And if it's tails, you can't attack. So that slows down the meta, allows Clefus to be in play for a while, and it gives you fresh hands every time. So very good card. It's a four count to keep uh, it consistent since we do have two separate evolution lines. Those are all the Pokemon. It's a very simple deck, so let's move on to the energy. We already talked about the Recycle Energy. It's a two count. We also have a two count of Full Heal Energy. Um, status is obviously a big problem. Uh, Kingdra's HP is 90, which means that he's not going to get KO'd uh, too quickly. You know, 90 is potentially one hit KOs for some Pokemon, but a lot of times it's two to three hit KOs. So he's not going to get KO'd too easily. And so full energy status, is, I mean, status conditions is a good way to stall to, to, to that, so that you can do the damage to get a KO. But full energy prevents that. Just a very nice addition to have. Um, you know, they can put you to sleep, para, para, uh, paralysis you, confuse you. So many things that full energy solves. And so two count is very nice. Remember that, again, that Twister has only a two water energy requirement. The rest is all colorless. So you can really utilize multiple energy types in a deck like this and be okay. 11 water is going to round out our energies here. So 11 is on the low end, but like I said, Kingdra only needs 2 water to ever do anything, and so it's fine. Your total energy is 15, which to be fair, again, is still fairly low for a 4 energy attacking Pokemon. But the 2 recycle energy uh, helps to mitigate that, so that kind of makes up the makes up a little difference there. Once you get recycles in play, it's essentially like you're playing with 17 energy because you're always going to have an energy in hand. Going into the trainers, two trader, uh, we just couldn't fit more than that because the Kingdra line is fairly thick. But a two count is good enough to be able to get Clefas when you need them to get Kingdras, etc., etc. It's just a really good card overall. So um, uh, it's the first print of Pokemon Communication. If you have played in the modern meta, you know what that does. That's essentially what this does. To build for supplemental draw, remember that Kingdra's attack is only one energy requirement, and so a lot of times you're not going to just stick a Cleffa in the active and eek forever. 
um, because your energy of requirement to attack is actually one instead of three. And so you're going to need to have Kingers in the active to do some pressure on attacking. And as a result, you're not going to be drawing much. And so you need supplemental draw. So Cleffa is one way to draw. Bill, we have a two count here, is another way to draw. Um, Bill's teleporter is a third way to draw. It's uh, just a one count, but you flip a coin if it's heads, you draw four cards. It's a 50% shot, but when you get heads, it's pretty crazy to draw four. It's really nice. And then finally, Elm is the pseudo supporter for the format. Um, there are no actual supporters for the format, so Elm kind of just acts like one. But you shuffle your hand to your deck, then draw seven. A lot of times, you're going to want to save these for late game, while Cleffa is going to be your draw support for early game. Moving on to more trainers. We have two good manners to find basics. Uh, basically, you show your opponent your hand, and then you uh, search your deck for a basic, and you put it into your hand. So good manners is really nice to get basics in play in case you can't find a horsey or a cleffa. Uh, good manners is a good option to do that. Also, in this case, muck, in, in case the, you're playing against a deck that's relevant with abilities, then getting grimers in play is going to be important. Good manners lets you do that. Three double gust. Um... It's a very important card for the format. Uh, it's a three to four count in a lot of decks. It's essentially Lysander for both you and your opponent. And um, the reason why we, in a lot of decks, run four count. The reason why we have three, though, is because Kingdra has a two energy retreat. Um, and then uh, Muck has a two energy retreat. So, you know, you're, you have a lot of Lys you have a lot of Gust of Wind targets on the bench. And so, you're not gonna be able, you're not gonna be able to play double gust too many times, you know. But for the times when you need to be able to to attack the opponent's active, or rather the opponent's uh, attacking Pokemon that's trying to power up on the bench, double gust is your go-to way to do that. Two focus ban. It's a pretty nice card in this deck. Our deck is very simple, right? So we have a lot of space to be able to have stuff like this in there. Focus Band's nice because um, it's an essential tool to be able to keep your Pokemon in play. At any point, if your Pokemon is supposed to be knocked out, you flip a coin. If it's heads, it's, it's not knocked out and still has 10 HP left. And then you discard Focus Band. So this is going to be your way of keeping Kingdras in play after you have exhausted your other forms of healing. And, you know, Kingdra is due to be knocked out. Focus Band just saves you for that. Just a two count is always nice to be able to keep attackers in play. It's a very nice option to have. Four Goldberry is your primary way of healing, though. So at any given point, if your Pokemon has 40 or more damage, Goldberry activates and heals 40 damage, and then it discards itself. It's a tool that you attach. And so Goldberry is the really the main way that this whole format heals damage off, and so a four count is essential for this kind of deck, especially since uh, Kingdra has 90 HP. And so you won't be KO'd in one shot too often. And so you have chances to play Goldberry. It's a very important card. It's a fourth count in this deck. Two Breeder Fields is a way of searching out evolution Pokemon that you want to get in play. So you flip one or you flip a coin for up to two Pokemon in play that needs to evolve. And then you find a later stage if it's heads. If, if you flip the coin if it's heads, you find a later stage from your deck and you put it in your hand and you shuffle your deck afterwards. So, you know, when you have um, a the stage two line to get in play and you want to build up a couple of them at a time then breeder fields is really nice to be able to do that also finding mucks for a grimer is very good too for breeder fields so that is just a two two count you're not going to draw into those pieces too often so uh, breeder fields helps you to search that out it's a very good card it's a two count in this deck two lucky stadium forgot to mention is actually another way that we have supplemental draw so um, in terms of stadium cars, this is really just the best one that you really need. Um, just having that extra card here or there makes a big difference if you're trying to, to, to you know, draw for something and you just don't have it in your hand. So Lucky, <clears throat> Lucky Stadium is really nice to be able to do that. The final card in the deck is going to be Garbage Run. So Garbage Run is the first print of the modern Super Rod. You shuffle up to three Pokemon and three energy into your deck. Um, and, uh, it's just really good because, you know, you're going to need energy back. You're going to need your lines back to count here to be able to get those pieces back in play. Also prevents deck outs, you know, a uh, very important card in general to count here to be able to keep things consistent. But that's the deck overall. Um, it's a pretty good deck if you can get set up. Twister is really powerful if you can get it set up. 
Um, genetic memory, just being able to do 30 and 10 for one energy is really we're just really crazy. One thing that this deck is lacking though is um, I think Pokemon Center is what it's called. So let's look at this. So in Rocket On, there is a way of uh, uh, healing all damage counters from all of your own Pokemon with damage counters on them. And then you discard all energy cards attached to them. So normally when this deck is built, you use Pokemon Center. You basically use one energy on the Kingdra and do genetic memory over and over and over. And whenever he has enough damage to get potentially KO'd, you Pokemon Center, you discard the energy, and you attach another one, you keep going. So that is one of the strategies that we cannot implement here, simply because I don't have any Pokemon Centers. It's a promo, and in TCG1, uh, you have to basically earn promos through achievements, and through, you know, I just, I just haven't gotten the achievement that I needed to get a Pokemon Center. Eventually, we'll get this card, and then we'll actually revisit Kingdra and a couple of other decks where this card would have been relevant but right now we're unfortunately forced to not use it and so we have to use other forms of uh, healing and you know other card replacement cards in the meantime but um I've babbled on enough so let's go on to the matches I'll see you there got a match here against DQ Quagmire <sighs> stuck with the Grimer in the active which is uh unfortunate We got Lucky Stadium, though. Maybe that'll draw something. <laughs> what? Um. What? Okay, so his whole hand must have just been... Okay. Um, Lucky Stadium. Lucky Stadium didn't help us. <laughs> I guess I'm attaching to the active. No. I think I just wait. Because this is the deadest hand in the world. I could, yeah, I could attach and do Nasty Goo. So I'll Nasty Goo. Maybe I'll Paralyze him. He can't, doesn't get more cards, but no. We're actually playing Water, so um, this is kind of interesting. But he'll be able to one-shot me. I have two Focus Bands, I think. So here I can double Gust. And let's see what he has. He has a Gold Berry. I double gust into the Cyndaquil, so first I Lucky Stadium, okay, I'm gonna, I really, I'm gonna bump this for another Lucky Stadium, I know that was, that was probably a bad move, but it's all I have, so I double gust into something that's hard to retreat, which will be this thing, he'll have to now sacrifice energy to do it. And then I bench this, and I bench this, because I'm going to need Muck. And uh, just Nasty Goo for 10. Lucky Stadium is Tails. There's a Trader. So I can Trader um, Lucky Stadium. It's Heads. Oh, okay. So I'm going to Evolve. I'm going to Trader the Kingdra for a Cleffa, okay. Bench the Cleffa. I'm going to I'm going to um, retreat into the Cleffa, okay. Now I'm going to evolve um, this one and uh, Elm. Recycle the active, and then I bench this, and I actually have everything I need, so I'm just going to end turn. Okay, stay in Marjorie, yeah, I'm going to end turn. That's fine, because I got what I need. Now when he retreats, um, he only gets 50% with Cleffa versus anything else, and I have an energy for genetic memory. See, I knew this was happening, man. Like, this thing right here, I knew that was going to happen. I I was forced to play the Lucky Stadiums, though, because I wouldn't have gotten the Elm otherwise. So now both of our stadiums are gone, and now this thing will always be in play, which means we don't hit his Arcanines for weakness. But we do shut off the abilities, so we're just going to have to take Solace in that. We're going to do this. We're going to evolve Bill. Let's see. Um, I'm pretty much... 
like I, I think I need to eek once more so that I can uh you know get energy and stuff in hand and all that so let's eek and we got energy we got bill so this might be enough of a hand to be able to move forward on there is technically a double gust but unfortunately retreat's going to be a problem with muck plays breeder fields um i'm definitely going to try to get the other muck in play or at least just having both of them in hand is always beautiful so he's got one energy in the discard his arcanine is not that set up i to technically um figure out a way to attach the focus span on the kingdra or maybe i can do that when the time comes so yeah yeah this is this is working out well so we're gonna do this um play the bill and then retreat into the kingdra and then genetic memory he's not he's not in a position to ko me right now so i just genetic memory and that's tails that's fine i'm setting up a twister anyway i should probably set up another one just in case though okay so um yeah when he attacks me he's probably going to go for a big shot so i'm going to actually set up another one and i'm just going to genetic memory his tails again Now I think I definitely need to focus ban the active because he's going to come in with Firestorm. What I'm trying to do here is have two Kingdras set up to a certain extent. Um, so I can Breeder Fields. Yeah, I'm going to Breeder Fields this one. And sure, why not? Breeder Fields. First one was Tails. Okay, the other one is Prize. That's fine. So I'm going to Trader the Seedra into a Kingdra. My only other Kingdra? That means one of my Kingdras is prized. So we have a Muck that's prized and a Kingdra that's prized. We're going to Evolve. We're going to attach a Water to him. Actually, I'm not going to attach the Water because I'm... Yeah, I'm going to have to attach the Water. It's fine. And then I Focus Band the Active. And then I just uh, Genetic Memory. And I mud splash, which takes a KO on the active, and I'm gonna mud splash into the Arcanine, I guess. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with that Arcanine at some point anyway. There's a Kingdra, alright. So he's gonna wait, I guess. Attach energy with something else over here. He's probably gonna wait until a. Uh, he's got Blaine. Okay, he's gonna wait until he double gusts the muck. No, he's not. He's gonna firestorm now. This 80. We're going to do this again. And uh, genetic memory. Mud splash. The cleffa. What does he have? A berry. Okay. Just KOs me. Okay. There's a gold berry. He's now got. Firestorm. I probably should have waited on that one. That was bad. So, genetic memory, mud splash, Cleffa again. Yeah, this is this is not looking good. Cleffa, garbage run. Um. So one Kingdra, this and this, okay. I bench this, I good manners, one of the uh, horses, okay. Bench that, and then I just eek. You can't attack just yet anyway. He's going to have to deal with Muck somehow. I'm going to bench this one too, just because it's free. He's a, He has lost a ton. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 energy he's lost. He plays Energy Stadium, which actually now sets me up for weakness attack. So that works out well. How many traders have we lost? Because we need Cedra in play. 
Um, let's see here. Two traders are both gone. So that's fine. We're going to bench this, attach a water to the first horsey. And then we're going to elm, getting a Cedra. Okay. And then we're going to Clefa Energy Stadium as well. Get water back. Nice, nice. <clears throat> I could bubble him for 20. He could blame me and he'd tackle me. That isn't KO. So I, I think I take that. Because this is Breeding Fields will potentially get me a Kingdra. So I retreat into Cedra. And then I bubble him. So that's 50 now in Paralysis. Nice. Plays garbage run for energy back. Okay. How many seizures are left? One, two. There should be one more in the deck left. So I can do this and this. Space focus band. Okay. There's a Kingdra, so I evolve the active, I uh, attach this to the active, I think, yeah, yeah, because this one's not set up, and I uh, genetic memory, energy stadiums first, get water back, genetic memory, mud splash to him, he survives, but he needs two energy to do it, he needs a blame to do it, he only, he's going to try to, he can't retreat. Unless he uses um, double gust or something, I'm gonna attach one energy onto onto Muck just so I can have him retreat for sure. I got an excess of energy, so we're gonna do that. Attach one to Muck Energy Stadium, and then genetic memory for Mud Splash onto the Cleffa. All right, there's the other Muck, so that's cool. So now when he KOs this one, I have another one that I can evolve directly into. He's going to just set up Firestorm, just stall with babies it looks like. Alright, he replaced the stadium now. So I'm going to Breeder Fields this one. This one, and then cancel. Great. Alright, we're going to set that up. Attach a water onto him, evolve, and then genetic memory. I'm gonna get another Kingdra set up, so I have two. There is a Blaine. Next turn, he's gonna KO the active. Play Super Energy Retrieval. Even if he double gusts this and KOs, I have this one. If he double gusts and doesn't KO, I can just retreat. Alright, we're going to do the Kingdra, attach a water to the second one, and then genetic memory. Still tails, so that sucks. He plays another Blaine? Oh no! Jeez, man. Do this. Attach a water to this. And then evolve. And, um. I can eek. But what else would I really need in hand? I'm gonna attach a gold berry to Kingdra. Because there's no more bands anyway, and then I think I would just retreat. What else would I need in hand? No, I just eek, it's fine. There's a garbage run, that's what I need. He plays garbage run. I'm gonna wait for Twister. I mean, that's all I can do. Twister hopefully needs to discard some energy. Otherwise, I, I just get screwed. Alright, so attach... I'm gonna attach a... Uh, he doesn't have any status conditions, I think, so we'll do this, we'll do this for uh, we'll just a line. That's all I need. Ten cards in deck. I think I just retreat into a twister. Heads. 
Okay, so he needs a Blaine now to be able to attack me, the full attack. Yeah, he just does one manual, it's fine. I have plenty of gold berries just to, to deal with his heat tackles. I just gotta pray Twister will hit, man. Twister needs to hit. Alright, gold berry again. And then Twister, please hit. Come on, man! Why, dude? God, why does it never work right, man? Last match, I had five Twisters, four of them were Tails Tails. How does that even work? How is that possible? <sighs> he didn't have an energy. Oh my god. <laughs> what? He didn't have an energy. Wow. <laughs> Okay, um, we're, so we're back in the match. He didn't have an energy. And he attached a balloon berry to Cleffa. I think that must have been a misclick, right? No, he's just getting rid of them, I guess. I'm not sure what... what uh, yeah, I figured. Figured. Okay, um, I have seven in hand. I can't really... I don't want to lose too many cards from hand, so I'm just going to genetic memory. This again, it's, it feels like babies never die against me, right? It, I, it always feels like it takes me four to five turns to KO a baby every time. I just need one mud splash heads and I can just KO him. I'm just praying that his his deck is thin of energy, but it's not because he should have tons more left. Okay, please, come on. Finally. At least I get rid of the baby, which is the important thing. I really wish that Mud Slap would have hit him, at least, but at least we got rid of the Cleffa. Now he sets himself up for deck out. He has three prizes left. He only has one kill with Firestorm. There's a Cleffa, so that doesn't happen anymore. I'm going to actually attach the Recycle onto this Muck. I have an idea. I'm going to double gust stall him and just continuously Mud Slap him. So Genetic Memory. Okay, one more turn and I can stall him. Alright, so double gust. I'm going to get this guy in the active. And then I'm going to retreat. Okay. So now I can genetic memory and I can twister or genetic memory. I'm pretty sure I want to take out this guy. So genetic memory, mud splash. Him. All right, take a KO. So now he's, he's he has he's lost one energy from the from the board basically with that. Be balloon berries, of course. How many how many night? I think I've lost both garbage runs. Let's see. There's one, two. I should have a couple of elms left, and I have enough cards in hand to be able to use elm. So I'm just gonna genetic memory. Deck is three. So, genetic memory. Come on, I gotta take a KO here, dude. Genetic memory. Mud splash. M. Alright, there's an elm. So, we're saved for the deck out, at least. One of them was prized, oh man. I'm actually going to wait until actual deck out and then genetic memory first. Okay, good. That's game. 40 coins. GG, man. Caps lock was on by accident, but yeah. Um, I can't tell you how many times. Like, the last match was the worst match. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to put it in the video, but I basically was only able to twist her five times in that match. And four out of the five were tails, tails. And then in this match, the turn, the very turn that I need Twister to work, it fails. And then two matches before that, 
again, the very turn I need to twist her to work, it fails. So it's like it never works when you want it to. And I don't know. So sometimes you just get into a rut and the RNG in this format just drives you crazy because it's like it's consistently the same problem. Babies don't die for three or four turns and then they kill your babies in one shot. And then when you need a flips to work, even one out of two, like we're at, this is a 25% chance to fail Twister and it it, it, it fails five, four out of five times. I mean, what can you do with that? But anyway, at least in this case, we just lucked out because he had no energy for that one turn that he needed to. So the whole match boiled down to that one single turn and it ended up working out for us. Muck pulled his weight like a boss. I mean, without this guy, we would have lost for sure. Um, so <laughs> I think this pairing of Kingdra and Muck is going to be pretty good. Um, we lost both our stadiums early and so he was able to prevent weakness damage for most of this but um, that was kind of a crazy up and down match here against Gully we will have to start with the horsey because he's the only one free retreat I'm not gonna bench the grammar just yet he would have to have a lightning Pokemon that does uh yeah so now it's the mirror match okay so the mirror match means that I don't really bother with Grimer, right? But then he has Mysterious Fossil, so what could that do? Because it's Kadabra, I think. Huh, I have no idea what he's playing. I mean, obviously he's playing Kingdra, but... um, He's got something else going on with that's a fossil, with that's a fighting fossil type, so... We're going to play Bill's Teleporter. That didn't work. Lucky Stadium as well. Let's see if we can get something. There's a Trader. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get a, let's go ahead and just get Cleffa in play first of all. Bench him. Attach the energy onto the Cleffa. Retreat. Uh, I'm not going to spend the Elm because I don't think it's worth it, right? Like, what do, I, what do I get from the Elm in this hand? I think I just eek. All right, so it's Kabutops. Is this the the Hydro Cannon Kabutops? Or remember that Kabutops that we played in the Nine Tails deck that was able to do, I think it was thirty or forty times the amount of energy or something crazy. That might be that one. So we're do this. Um, I don't think he had an ability, but this this one has obviously. But once during your turn, search your deck for a card named Kabuto and put it onto your bench shuffle. So he's just gonna like replicate his Kabutos. Uh. I don't think that's much of enough of a threat to bench a muck that will be a Lysander target. So I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, might as well Lucky Stadium. I kind of do want the evolution. And I think I just benched the horsey, right? So let's just Breeder Fields. And then I can just get a Cedra. Can I get a Kingdra now? No, I'm pretty sure that... I guess I could just get another Seedra. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, um... I think I just end, because I want to be able to evolve into Seedra and attach the energy. Yeah, yeah, so I'm just going to be done with that, yeah. The only thing I might need here is another Cleffa, because that's what's missing from my bench and what's missing in play. Yeah, it is that Kabutops. It's the Hydro Cannon. Is it Hydro Cannon? Hydro Cutter Kabutops. All right, 40 times, yeah. It's crazy. All right, um, we're just going to do this and then evolve and then bench this and then flip. Uh, we would have gotten, we'll bench this as well. Mud Splash is going to have to do a lot of work here. Uh, and then we're just going to eek. There's the Kingdra, another Seedra, Recycle Energy as well, which is nice. I'll get, obviously, I'll get Recycle in play. Alright, so I can double gust the Kabutops right now, but then he brings up the Seedra. Then I Recycle it, or do I think I go for Twister, right? Hmm. Let's get the Kingdra in play first. We'll attach this here. If he hits me... Uh, he has hit me for three heads, so I'm going to attach the gold berry preemptively. Um, and then Lucky Stadium, that shouldn't do anything. And then I just eek, that shouldn't do anything either. There's a double gust, so what I need now is an energy. 
Then I can attack the Kabutops. He's got the Recycled as well. This says, the, this says a max on this, right? Yeah, we can't flip more than three coins this way. So he's actually attached an energy for no reason. Because he should only have three. Flip a coin. Yeah, I, I don't think he understands how Hydro Cutter works. Because, uh, alright, now I can just double gust. But I actually need Twister to get set up, right? Or maybe he's doing that because of Twister. That's what's going on. Okay, never mind then. Uh, I'm just going to attach this here and then try to eek again. That's Tails. I know eventually he's going to have... He has a two-card two hand? Lucky Stadium doesn't help me. He's just really loading onto this thing. I guess now Twister is not really going to do much. So I really need to start powering up something else. I need uh, energy, and I don't have it in hand. This is starting... Yeah, this is going crazy. He actually just retreats and is attacking a baby. Goldberry is attached. So Twister will need to get rid of both of these fightings. He actually KOs the baby. Wow. Okay. There's an elm. Thank God. Uh, I don't need to re refresh anything. I might since he's already in the active. I might as well just put him evolved and uh, bench this. I feel like I'm gonna have to chain these guys. Might as well evolve this one and then flip. There is a recycle energy onto this guy. So let's do, go ahead and do that. Uh, Lucky Stadium for another energy retreat into him, and then Twister for the fighting. So Twister. Uh, then basically negates his berry. He attaches another fighting. So the good news here, he's just at the focus band. Okay. Uh, so the good news for me is that, um, genetic memory should be able to KO him, right? So 50 plus 10 is 60. His HP is 90. He's attached to focus band. He can't heal that off now. Genetic memory does uh, Mud Splash 30, so that actually KOs him, so I don't need to power up a full Twister, is what that means. So, um, I just attached the energy, I believe, but let me make sure, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna start revolving my lines, man. And then I'm gonna flip. There's a focus band. Um... But I can't use it right now. So, Twister, get rid of this fighting. And, uh, yeah. So now he's set up for a Mud Splash. He has to do two heads out of three. So, statistically, we shouldn't die here. I'm just... <laughs> okay, at this point, um, I, I think he... I don't think he understands the attack. Because at this point, you sh he has two surplus energies. Oh, I guess he's trying to retreat. Okay. Ma okay, I what? I don't know. Genetic memory? He's looking for something. What is he looking for? Potion? Trying to set up another one? He has recycles in hand. There's a Kingdra. Well, at this point, I'm going to need to get the Double Gust, right? So there's really no point in doing this, right? I could retreat uh, these two, and I recover the Recycle. If I can get... There's a Goldberry. All right, so we're going to do this. We're just going to set him up. That's fine. I guess we're going to set up the Kingdra... And then genetic memory. So now he has to get through 90 again. So he needs to flip three heads to KO the Kingdra. He can't heal this one for sure. He only has 30, the Mud Splash, but he has a band on. So that could make a difference. Yeah, power up Twister. Lucky Stadium. Genetic memory. Tails again. We've had so many Tails this match, right? Like, we... No, that was the other match. We had like a bunch of sleep flips the other match. Like it was something stupid like 10 sleep flips in a row or something that was negative for me. Alright, so there he goes. This one's fully powered up. So I just I, t I just evolve into another one. Get another Kingdra set up. 
Deck is 13 to 24. I definitely need to, to, to think about that. But this one's about to go down, and we're about to re re refresh him. So I, I take the guaranteed genetic memory KO, right? And I hit the Kabutops. So he does survive, unfortunately. But now he needs two heads. Right? Yeah, yeah, he needs two heads. So it's still statistically we should be good. Good, good. Alright, so... I think I bill. And then I just genetic memory again. Mud splash for him. That's fine. I mean, he's down to 80. So 50. So I need an energy eventually for Kingdra. He'll definitely get a KO here, yeah. We'll put him up. Now we'll garbage run. Uh, I think I just need energy, energy, energy. Because I have, like, I should have... Uh, I technically don't have that last Kingdra in place, so I'm just going to actually get one more Kingdra. Okay, there we go. Uh, I can now attach an energy onto this third Kingdra retreat into the second one. He can he can one-shot me with three heads, so there is that. Twister, but Twister once again sets him up. Oh, okay, I can get rid of both of them. Okay. So that worked out really well. Okay, so two heads on Twister really great was worked out really well. Now he's he's gonna get KO'd with Mud Splash. I can start start doing some damage onto the Kingdra. I wanted to actually just take out the Mysterious Fossil, the, the threat, right? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm actually not gonna play any of this just yet. I'm actually gonna Lucky Stadium. Now that I have an Elm, I can be aggressive with that. Uh, Genetic Memory should take him out. Mud Splash, and I'll go for the Mysterious Fossil, and I actually get that too. So great, his Mysterious Fossil is gone as well. Now he's stuck attacking with Kingdra. This is his only attacker. He has Twister, I have Twister. He hits me for 50. I lose one energy, all right. Um, I can do this onto him. And I can actually Focus Band now. Because I think I've lost, I've only lost two berries statistically, but even if I have Elm, I can't do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this on the active. Um, and uh, Twister. Well, yeah, I just have to attach energy. So I Twister, get rid of a water, and another water. Okay, so that, <laughs> that worked out well again. So uh, he can't Twister now. He has to do genetic memory. Which doesn't KO the Kingdra. Wow, that worked out really well. So Twister's finally working out well. We've had so many matches where Twister gets like too many tails in a row. Like I think we had one match where Twister had uh, four out of five Twisters was tails tails. So he basically did nothing for four out of five turns. It was nuts. But uh, finally he's he's pulling some weight here now. So that's awesome. Uh, genetic memory doesn't KO him, so I gotta Twister him. So I Twister, get rid of that. And now he's got no attackers, and I think that's the match. That's awesome. Getting that one 10 damage snipe got rid of his Kabutops threat, so that just basically killed his deck, I think. That Kabutops, he could have gotten up, but then because I was able to snipe it with 10, he lost an energy drop for that turn as well. So that was pretty crazy. So I just genetic memory now. He can't deck me out. I have an Elm. I have, I have like a 16 card in hand. So there's no way he can deck me out. So I should be fine. One thing to, to mention though is that Kingdra currently only has 10 HP. And he has a band on. So I can't really protect him too much, right? I need to get this guy set up. Now he can actually bubble me for the KO. And I think he's going for it. No, he's not. Okay, so I just... Uh, Genetic memory. Still nothing. That sucks. There's a Kingdra. Now he can genetic memory. Mud Splash. He's definitely going to go for it. He draws two. I have a Garbage Run in hand to be able to recover. Uh, I recovered one Kingdra already, right? So now I just get energy, energy, energy. I think that's the play. Great. The band worked out well. All right, great. And I got an energy too. So next turn I can Twister him. I can twist him now, obviously, too. But, oh, actually, now I can go berry. So, twister for 50. And another head heads. Wow. I 
Okay, I think we were destined to win this because we our luck has just been too good this this match. We've gotten three heads heads, which have basically kept this Kingdra alive the whole time. So it's just, and then we also top deck the Goldberry at the moment that we needed it. Yeah, this is one of those examples where luck is basically on your side and you you can basically accomplish anything. <laughs> but uh, I, you know, it's kind of interesting how close the the prizes are. But on the the board state is obviously the bigger difference, right? Because he only has a one attacker that's about to get KO'd. I have two almost fully powered up attackers, so it's worked out pretty well. There's the last Kingdra. I won't need to play him. My deck is five. I'll wait until the end. I might as well attach the full heal to the Kingdra just to have him set up. And then I just twist her. And once again, we don't have Tail Sails. So statistically, 25% of the time, we should have no attack. But we've gotten lucky the whole time. So two prizes to four left. I think where it's going pretty well. He might be really chasing the deck out. And um, maybe, I mean... I'll just let him keep thinking that, because I know I have that one elm. He should be able to read, though, that I have one elm left. Maybe he thinks it's prized, who knows, but in either case, I think we'll be okay. So, I could technically take a KO here, um, and I'm just going to... Genetic memory, that is the KO, so that worked out well. Now one prize left, two fully powered up attackers, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be set. There's even the energy uh, to be able to free retreat or whatever. So yeah, this this match has turned into basically uh, just me doing amazingly because of luck. You know, Twister getting double heads has saved me from two attacks. And uh, if he had gotten double heads on one of his Twisters, I would have been totally screwed. So that it's just that close of a match, basically. He's got a gold berry, but uh, Twister should be able to get around that. So that should be GG. And we and to top it all off, we had two double heads at the end too. I think that's like four double heads we've had this match. So um, this is <laughs> that's Gen two, I guess. You know, uh, a lot of times it feels like the luck is against you, but very rarely in, in cases like this, the luck is completely on your side. So this was kind of a mirror match, but he instead instead of uh, Muck, he has the Hydro Cutter. Um, it's kind of okay, actually. I mean, that's a very viable strategy. The Hydro Cutter statistically can do some pretty heavy damage output in, you know, certain scenarios. But, um, I feel like Muck is just better overall because, uh, it cuts off so many abilities. Like, we have, we basically have auto wins for so many matches, um, because of the Muck. And that just makes that big of a difference. Like, attacking-wise, obviously, Genetic Memory, Mud Splash is not that good. Twister is a, power, it's a good attack, but you have to build up a lot to get him to that point. But um, th just th they don't have any abilities. Uh, it's just I think it's just worth more. So anyway, let's go on to the next one. Maybe I'm not sure. I, I might put this at the end, but I think I'll probably play one or two more matches. So I'll see you there. Got a match against Gully here. This time we start with a Cleffa, so that's cool. Um, Lucky Stadium from the beginning, a bill to get some more cards, a teleporter as well, and a free card. Wow, so this is working out really well. He's playing a Gligar. Gliscor, uh, Tyranitar with water energy. Gliscor with, uh, the Kabutops that does Hydro Cutter, maybe? Maybe. Well, Bill, um, does he have any abilities relevant? I don't know. We'll, we'll teleport it. That doesn't help. So I'm actually just going to uh, attach a water to the active and lucky stadium and then see if we can get a basic that way. We do not. Do I bench the grammar? No, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, ah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I want to see what he's playing. He's retreating and attacking. What? Um, okay, then I guess I have to bench the Grimer now, so at least I have a basic in the in, in the bench. I might as well even attach the Recycle to him, and then now I can actually free Eek. So there's a Horsey. No Cleffa, though. If he hits me again, I'm screwed. Good, good. All right, we're going to do this, and then do this. Lucky Stadium for an Elm. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to need some more basics, so I don't get that. Instead, I got to eek and I got to pray. There's a cleft. Nice, nice. All right, so we're okay. 
It's fine. Um, I'm actually going to keep the recycle in... Well... No, no. I have to put him in the active. Bench him. Bench him. Bill. Um... I think I traitor, right? I know I evolve, and I attach a water. I don't think I need Kalefa anymore, at least not at the moment. Yeah, I should be fine here. I could bubble him, or Mud Splash. Mud Splash is definitely the way to go, so I just retreat. And then Mud Splash and Lucky Stadium? I already did that. Mud Splash, the horsey, his attacker. So now I two shot the Gliger. The Siege is about to come. I got the Recycle Energy. He's going to Mud Splash me too. He poisons me. But I can just evolve. So I can trader the Muck for a Kingdra to get around poison. And then I Mud Splash to KO him. To do that, I attach the recycle to the active, I gold bury the active, um, and then I genetic memory mud splash, hit the Cedra, take a KO. We had to bench this just to prevent a KO in that one turn, but now he's a bench warmer for us, so it is what it is. Um, hmm. Might as well bench another one of these and another one of these. Uh, this kind of sucks, you know, because if I retreat, I can actually get, but then I get behind on energy so much, so I think I just genetic memory. At least I take a KO on him, so that works out well. There's a double gust. So if, I might just double gust to get him out of the active. He attaches the gold berry. He gets heads heads, wow. Damn, that sucks. That really sucked. So, I could mud splash him, but I think I just need to double gust. I need to get him out of the active to build him up again. Yeah, that's fine. Grammar can stay on the active. That doesn't matter. In fact, I might even evolve him to give him higher HP. He'll, much, he'll be much splashing me, but it buys me more time. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then end turn. I might even spend the focus ban. I don't know. Because I know he's going to keep attacking me. If, he's, if he keeps going at it with Mud Splash, um, that gives me a bunch of turns. It buys me a lot of time. The uh, the Mud Splash is, flip, is like a coin flip, right? So it shouldn't statistically hit me every turn. He actually goes for Twister, which I guess is fine. Uh, I definitely need something here, so that sucks. I might actually go for the Focus Ban just to buy me more time. So my hand's dead. That's what one heads, one double heads Twister can do for you. It's crazy. He's got a bunch of recycles. Okay, it worked. All right, cool. So um. Lucky Stadium? I need an energy, dude. Come on. Uh, and now I can let him go. And then I go bury the Kingdra. In case he tries to hit me. Then I gotta bank on the baby roll. I mean, I'm really grasping at straws here because my hand's so dead. I should have probably even played Breeder Fields to get those evolutions out of the deck and into my hand. Because then I don't draw into them. He is just going to start stacking water energy because, you know, Double Head's Twister will really cripple him. So that actually is a smart play. We're, like, so far behind, dude. He's got a gold berry with five energy. I mean, even a Double Head's Twister won't do anything. Like, this is insane how bad this is. There's a water, finally. So I got to go for it. And I just got to pray. That, um, something else. Like, I pray, I gotta pray Cleffa doesn't get KO'd.
He's just like stacking energy, dude. It's crazy. And then he's gonna get he's about to get hydro cutter powered up too. Thank God. Alright, so I'm gonna start attaching to the Kingdra. Um Lucky Stadiuming. So Um, I might as well do this. And then eek. So I don't draw into them again. So statistics it increases my odds for energy. Uh, let's see. I have three energy discarded. A, a garbage run could help me out. All right, go ahead and do this here. I really need to. I'm so far behind. It's insane. They have the garbage run. I think I take it. This is probably a mistake because I need to save it for recovering Pokemon. But it, I mean, I don't know. Um. I'll bench the Cleffa. Oh, I already had through two Cleffas. Alright, I'm not playing right. So I just eek. That was a that was a dumb move. Alright, now I can uh I think I just force him to find a double gust, right? Because now I can start powering up other people, right? So I just gonna do this. I'm gonna do this, set him up fully. I'm pretty sure I need something else going on, so I gotta eek. Maybe I'll find, maybe I'll Breeder Fields to get my Kingdra. Do I have, I should have more Kingdra. Yeah, I, I just can't attack right now, dude. Because he just, he would kill me. Twister, two, two, two Twisters KO me. And I don't, and like, okay, so now he, def, so now I'm forced to attack him, actually. So that's fine. Um, I can Breeder Fields now. So they were there, I just didn't draw into them. Okay, that's fine. Can go ahead and evolve one of them. I'll attach this to the second one. Um, Lucky Stadium Breeder Fields. I will retreat now. I have the berry, and Twister doesn't KO me, and so I should be able to get more stuff on Kingdra. If he double heads Twisters me though, I'm screwed. So I think I need to. Um, I recovered energy, so I should be fine. So I'm just gonna twister him. It's tails heads. Uh, it just gets rid of his berry. I have a berry. He's about to get rid of mine. I'm about to put another one on. 50, 60, 80. So he's, he's gonna do 10. Okay, so I'll have 40 damage on me, which actually KOs me with twister. So I I need a focus band. I should have flipped. Ah. <sighs> Wait, I can actually just heal it off. Wait, what am I thinking? Wait, what What did he do? Oh, I had the berry on, right? So it wouldn't have made a difference. That's fine. That's fine, yeah. Um, Lucky Stadium. I'm going to bench him to get him out of my deck. Uh, I'm going to bump the Stadium as well. I know I'm thinning my deck out, but I, this is like my only play. There is a garbage run for two energy. is not worth it, so I just flip. There's an energy for a Kingdra. No, 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 no. What am I doing? I need to go for the active. And then Twister. And he had another berry in hand, too. Wow. We're going to need a lot of luck at this point, basically. Because this hand is dead. It's deader than dead, man. And he had another berry. Okay, this is not focus ban. Okay, good. <laughs> I was about to say, man. All right, I'm going to focus ban him now. And then I attach a full heal to the active now. And then I flip. Lucky Stadium next. Twister. At least he's in the range of uh, genetic memory. Tails, tails. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm not going to do Lucky Stadium because I think all my elms are gone, right? One, two. Three. No, I have one more. All right, so I should be okay for deck out. Uh, I can genetic memory him. I need to. I need to. Get, this needs to hit, dude. Please hit. Thank God. All right, that was the only way we would have won is if that hit. If that had hit. So we actually still have the band on, and uh, he has to hit with just one heads. Which okay, so um, 
the band worked though, so that's cool. I can recycle energy. The Kingdra Twister is about to be ready for him, and Twister is going to be ready for him. I'll go ahead and evolve this guy, and then I'll Twister and. <laughs> Uh, luck giveth, luck, take, luck taketh. So, for sure, I think he's going down now. Statistically, we're we're favored to lose that. But I think he has uh, he just has one recycle on play. Okay, that's fine. So I can use that for him. He's got two prizes left now. That's pretty crazy. Um, I didn't play the garbage run for this reason because now I can. What I can do is garbage run. The one Kingdra and then energy energy back in. So deck out is also another for like another turn averted. Do this, attach the recycle to him. Uh, might as well start evolving this guy. And then I twister. Still tails tails, dude. Wow. Wow. Back to back. There's an 80. I attach this here. I need one. I need this to work, dude. I can't kill. I can't KO him without this. Thank God. This was a heads heads. Okay, great, great. So, okay, good. He just hits me for slash, of course. But that's fine. I can start building up this guy. Um. And then a genetic memory. There's a gold berry, which is going to be very important. Twister is not on the on the board yet, so his hydro cutter. Thank God. Let's go ahead and attach this here, and then genetic memory him. I'm gonna set up for the Clefakeo. I probably should have just done that on the Kingdra, but it's whatever. He, all right, so he still, I still need to do, um, I wish I would have gotten that 10, because now I still need two more attacks. Hopefully, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm banking on, uh, he just recovered, he must have energy in hand, because otherwise he would have never done that. I should have probably attached the gold berry to begin with. That was dumb, because then if I draw into another gold berry, I'm pretty sure I might have more. One, two, three, no, it's the last one. Okay, never mind then. This Kingdra has genetic memory, though, so it should be fine, I guess. He's actually setting up another one. I kind of wish I would have taken... Well, that 10 never hit anyway, so it wouldn't have made a difference. Okay. Um, there is the triple garbage run. Wow, his deck is crazy. It's up to 16 now. And a focus band. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Okay, um, Twister, go. His focus band didn't activate, so I still have a 50% chance for that to go down. Oh no, triple heads. Uh, all right, well, okay, so we had a bad start. Right, I gotta say GG, hold on one second, GG. We had a bad start. And uh, we almost came back there, but uh, we had like those two turns of, of double tails. Then he had two turns of triple tails, so that kind of evened out. Um, I think our, our slow start in the beginning just basically hurt us too much. He, yeah, I mean, this is what happens when luck doesn't favor you, I guess. I don't know. I think our slow start was the result of RNG. Some of our attacks were a result of RNG, but in general, he, he, he got the double heads on that twister. And that basically set up his match for the rest of the turn, for the rest of the whole whole game. So yeah, um, anything can happen, I guess. But I mean, that was kind of close, though. It kind of came to down to the wire. I guess he was using the same deck. I just didn't see the 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 Gligar before, but now this time I saw it. So that's fine. But anyway, um, yeah. So I might just end it here. You know, these two matches were pretty okay. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, you know, like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing, and let me know what you want me to play. I'll try to build it for you, but uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do next time. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of ideas that I want to try out, but uh, we'll just see how that goes. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.